Just after I'd finished the first draft of That Burning Summer, there was a news story that Polish had become Britain's second language after English. And, um, and I was really pleased to hear that because I was really delighted to think that That Burning Summer might help open a window to a new generation of, um, of, of people in, 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 in Britain in terms of understanding the, the long history of, of the relationship between Britain and Poland. Um, because p the Battle of Britain probably wouldn't have been won without Polish pilots. Um, it's thought that they were responsible for maybe 20% of the um, Luftwaffe kills. At the very beginning, when, um, when, when the Battle of Britain started, there were only 40 Poles f um, flying with the RAF. By the end of the war, there was a fully fledged Polish Air Force based in Britain, and uh, I think 17,000 men and women um, were, were involved and had worked in it. Um, so when, when Churchill made his famous speech about the few to, to whom we owed so much, that few included more than a few Poles. There's a myth that the Polish Air Force was completely destroyed within days of, of Hitler's invasion of Poland in, um, in September 1939, but that, just that, exactly that, a myth. And in fact they fought bravely for several weeks and then took these incredible journeys that eventually brought them to France and then after the fall of France um, that summer of 1948,000 made Poles made it, to, made it to Britain. And they were probably some of the best trained pilots in Europe when, when the war broke out. Um, they had an incredible reputation for being slightly crazy almost in their bravery and, and courage and skill. And I think that's what makes Henrik's failure of nerve all, all, all the more terrible for him. So what would I do if I were Peggy and I found Henrik in the middle of the night like that? 